Early on the morning of September 22nd, we see an empty soldier's field, Chicago, Illinois. But just 12 hours later, over 100,000 fans, a live crowd greater than any attendance at any baseball game, watches as the first round of one of boxing's most controversial fights begins. Tunney is wearing the light-colored trunks. The fifth and final million-dollar gate under the promotional reins of Tex Rickard, this fight sets the record that may never be broken. Two million, six hundred and fifty thousand dollars official gross receipts from a live gate. Champion Gene Tunney will receive a cool one million dollars for 40 minutes work. The fight itself follows a pattern similar to the first match. That is, until the fateful seventh round. Dempsey lands a potent right-hand counter, follows up with a series of seven devastating punches. Tunney goes down for the first time in his career. Dempsey stays near the fallen fighter, but referee Dave Barry points for Jack to move to a neutral corner. Only then does he begin the count. Is Tunney dazed, or is he wisely taking full advantage of these precious extra seconds? Tunney is up at the referee's count of nine. Now, watch that sequence again in freeze action with a stopwatch on the knockdown. Tunney has just hit the canvas, and we start the watch at zero. Jack has forgotten the new rule. The count does not begin until he gets to a neutral corner. Instinctively, Dempsey stays nearby. Five seconds have elapsed before referee Barry is ready to begin the count. Gene looks hurt, dazed as the count begins. But here at the official count of four, when nine seconds have actually elapsed, he is looking at the referee and picks up the numbers. You be the judge. Could Tunney have risen at this point? At the referee's count of nine, but after 14 seconds have elapsed, Gene is getting off the canvas. Then unabashedly, he gets on a bicycle to stay away from the rampaging Dempsey, who had scored only after 17 rounds of maddening frustration. eighth round, Tunney has fully recovered. In slow motion, watch him get in with a right that drops Dempsey for a one count. Notice here the referee incorrectly will start his count immediately after Jack's knee touches and before Gene could get to a neutral corner. Round 10. Tunney has taken complete charge. Bruised and exhausted, Jack Dempsey seems at the verge of being knocked out for the first time in 10 years. There's the bell. The fight is over. Gene Tunney overwhelmingly the winner. But the long count gives sporting buffs something to discuss whenever they get together. Dempsey lost, yet he had won the greatest victory of his life. An adoring public took him to their hearts as he retired from the ring. Here's Jack Dempsey resuming his career in the theater, about to go through scenes with his actress wife, Estelle Taylor. As the years passed, Dempsey devoted his considerable skills and energies to many enterprises. One was this restaurant. This will bring me as much success as these old boxing gloves. While the cornerstone is being laid for his new eatery, a little comedy of errors develops over the traditional bottle of champagne. Say, Jack, why not uh, give those gloves to a museum? They're very historic instead of in a cornerstone. 
Well, I'll tell you, they brought me luck for the fight game. I think they're going to bring me luck in this new restaurant. I hope they do, Jack. Good luck Thank to you. Thank you very much.